Hey everybody, Danielle coming at you live from my kitchen and wanted to just pop on. It's kind of a chilly and dreary, rainy kind of afternoon and I thought I would treat myself and make um, a chai tea latte. So I thought I would show you what I do um, because I do use our whipped cream maker to froth my milk and I know a ton of you guys have the whipped cream maker, could not live without it. Um, so I thought I'd show you how I do it. So you're just going to take your boiling water. Um, I've tried trying to find a chai tea latte recipe forever. Uh, finally found this one online and then a friend of mine, I had never frothed milk in my whipped cream maker and a fellow pamper chef consultant showed me and it's like fantastic. So um, I used steep teas, chai tea, I really like it. Um, I don't think they have the ginger chai anymore, but that's that's what I use. They also have a cinnamon chai, so you could probably use that or any chai tea that you have. And you're going to put your boiling water into your mug and you wanna let that steep. So I'm only gonna go about halfway. I only want about that much water because I'm gonna let it steep. Um, and once it's done steeping, uh, I add the chai tea mix to it. And this is a really, really sweet concentrate. So I don't like a very sweet tea. So I only do about a quarter of a cup um, of this. The recipe actually calls, I think, for like a whole cup, but that's a ton, I don't do that much. So I do about a quarter of a cup. There we go. I'll put that in afterwards. And now your milk. So whipped cream maker, fantastic. You can make homemade whipped cream in 30 seconds with this. You can also do scrambled eggs. You can make mayonnaise. Um, you can do, uh, but you can also froth milk. Oh, you can also make butter in it as well too. So if you wanna do a fun activity with the kids, get some whipping cream and get them going with the whipped cream maker in about two and a half minutes, you can make butter. So with your, um, lattes to froth your milk. You're going to take your cold milk uh, straight out of the fridge. The one thing um, that I have found is the lower the fat the milk. So if you have uh, like a 1% or a skim milk, it's going to froth a lot better than a whole milk or a 2%. Okay. So for a single one, I do about halfway. So I don't know if you guys can see. You see that line? Okay, that's the do not overfill line. I do about half for a single one, okay? And then you're just going to put your lid on your whipped cream maker and you're gonna froth it. So probably about 20 seconds or so. Because did you guys know you can put this in the microwave? Yeah. So you're gonna do it until it's kind of really shiny and nice and bubbly, okay? There we go. So you see that? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop it in the microwave. You wanna be really careful because it can bubble over. So I find with my microwave doing half, 35 seconds is perfect. So one second, I'll be right back. So you just want to make sure you watch it because if you do more, it can bubble over. So you just want to be careful. Um, but 30 seconds and then you'll be all set. So I like this strong because don't forget we are diluting it with milk. Um, so you want to have it stronger than you normally would, but you also don't want it to go bitter. And that's one thing with black tea. You don't want to oversteep it because it'll go bitter on you. Milk's done. Okay, are you ready? Look. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful. Okay, so we have our nice hot tea. I'm going to add my chai mix. I need a spoon. Okay, 
And then, hopefully you guys can come back here so you can see this. And then you're just going to take this. And again, depending on how frothy you like it, depends on how much milk you're gonna put in it. I like it frothy. So that is like the perfect amount. And then, again, I got this from Steep Tea years ago. Um, it's like a cinnamon, sugar, chai blend. And I just take it. You could put a little bit of cinnamon. You could put a little bit of nutmeg on the top. There you go. Chai tea latte. But frothing milk in your whipped cream maker, 35 seconds and you're golden. Hey, Jamie. Um, so there you go. So this is going to be my afternoon treat before I have to come back into the kitchen and make dinner. So I wanted to share.